Mr. Trump, Trump, this year, Secretary Clinton became the first woman nominated for president by a major party. Earlier this month, you said she doesn't have, quote, a presidential look. She's standing here right now. What did you mean by that? Uh, she doesn't have the look. She doesn't have the stamina. I said she doesn't have the stamina. And I don't believe she does have the stamina. To be president of this country, you need tremendous stamina. The quote was, you I have, just don't think wait, she has a presidential Wait a minute, unless you ask me a question. Did you ask me a question? You have to be able to negotiate our trade deals. You have to be able to negotiate, that's right, with Japan, with Saudi Arabia. I mean, can you imagine we're defending Saudi Arabia and with all of the money they have, we're defending them and they're not paying? All you have to do is speak to them. Wait, you have so many different things you have to be able to do, and I don't believe that Hillary has the stamina. Let's let her respond. Well. As soon as he travels to 112 countries and negotiates a peace deal, a ceasefire, a release of dissidents, an opening of new uh, opportunities in nations around the world, or even spends 11 hours testifying in front of uh, a congressional committee, he can talk to me about stamina. The world, <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you, Hillary has experience but it's bad experience. We have made so many bad deals during the last... So she's got experience, that I agree, but it's bad, bad experience. Whether it's the Iran deal that you're so in love with, where we gave them $150 billion back, whether it's the Iran deal, whether it's uh, anything you can... Name, you almost can't name a good deal. I agree. She's got experience, but it's bad experience. And this country can't afford to have another four years of that kind of experience. We are at the, we are well, at the final what, question. One thing, one thing Very Lester, quickly, is, you know, he, he tried to switch from, from looks to stamina. But this is a man who has called women pigs, slobs, and dogs. And someone who has said... Pregnancy is an inconvenience to employers, who has said, said women don't deserve equal pay unless they do as good a job as Didn't men. And one of the worst things he said was about a woman in a beauty contest. He loves beauty contests, supporting them and hanging around them. And he called this woman Miss Piggy. Then he called her Miss Housekeeping because she was Latina. Donald, she has a name. Where did you find her? Her name Where is did Alicia you find this? Machado. Where did you find And it? she has become a U.S. citizen, and you can bet oh, really? she's going to vote okay. this November. Okay, good. Let me just tell you. Mr. Trump, just you take you. 10 seconds, and then you we're going to have the final question. Hillary is hitting me with tremendous commercials. Uh, some of it said in entertainment. Some of it said somebody who's been very vicious to me, Rosie O'Donnell. I said very tough things to her, and I think everybody would agree that she deserves it and nobody feels sorry for her. But you want to know the truth? I was going to say something Please, extremely rough to Hillary, to her family, and I said to myself, I can't do it. I just can't do it. It's inappropriate. It's not nice. But she spent hundreds of millions of dollars on negative ads on me, many of which are absolutely untrue. They're untrue and they're misrepresentations. And I will tell you this, Lester, it's not nice, and I don't, I, I, I don't deserve that, but it's certainly not a nice thing that she's done. It's hundreds of millions of ads, and the only gratifying thing is I saw the polls come in today, and with all of that money, we over $200 million dollars is spent, and I'm either winning or tied, One and I've you. spent practically nothing. <laughs>